Do you have paper flashcards and you want to switch to digital? Or you have digital but you want to make your flashcards more user friendly? Today I'm going to show you how to create a video flashcard tool so that when you're studying it's much more easier to use and you can use it on the go without access to the internet or anything like that. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. In today's video, I'm going to show you my screen. This might be something you create for yourself if you're studying for something, or it can be something you create for your students to help them study for an exam, for example. So let's go ahead and show my screen. So step one is to create your flashcards. I use Google Slides because it makes it much easier to create and also to record it using an iPhone or an iPad. So on here, you see the slides I've created. You have the front part of your, of your flashcard and then the back side where the answer is. So front, back, front, back. And you can design these cards as however you'd like that works best for you or you think will work best for your students. Once you create them, an important step is to go to slides and then transition. Because what you want to do is you want to add the flip transition to each of your slides. So once you click flip, I flip mine pretty fast, you apply to all slides so that when you, you present this slideshow, when you click on the slide, it flips to the next one. So for example, if I click present here and I clicked to have that one show up and then now I click and it flips, click flip and so on. So that I like that transition because it is like flashcards. So you create as many slides as you need to in order to create your flashcards for whatever you're studying for. And once you have that, then the next step is to go ahead and record the video. You can record your video on your laptop if you want to. You can use Loom to do this and screen record, or you can use Zoom and screen record. But I think it's easiest to just do it on your phone because then you can just you have the flashcards on your phone as you go about your day. You can also use an iPad too if, if you have that. But on your phone, you can just go and on an Apple phone, if you go to your control panel, you're gonna go ahead and click the record button when you're ready to record your slides. So if you don't have it in your control panel, you can add that icon by going to your settings. But once you have it there, you wanna click on the icon and you want to decide, do you want to turn your microphone on or keep it off? Personally, I keep it off. I don't need to hear myself speaking the flashcards, but if you do wanna have it that way for some reason, you wanna make sure your microphone is on. But in my case, it's gonna be off so that all I'm doing is recording the flipping motion of all the slides so that I have a video of all my flashcards ready to go when I wanna study wherever I am. Once you turn on the recording, you're gonna go ahead and go to the slides, the presentation on your phone or your iPad, and go ahead and click the play button to present your slides. Once you have that, it'll go full screen. And so you literally just click, 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 to go through all of your, your slides. You might decide to read the slide like internally in your mind and wait a second for you know, your answer. And maybe it's a short answer, so you wait two seconds. Maybe it's a long answer and you wait 10 seconds. But kind of get a sense of like the rhythm of how you would be reading the cards and answering them when you were actually studying. So you can always pause the video instead, have the same time between each slide, and then when you're studying, pause every time you get a new front page of your flashcards. And then once you have the answer, press play again. You can do it that way too. Um, it depends on your style. But once you're done recording all the slides, you go ahead and open up the control panel again and say stop recording by pressing the record button again. And it'll be saved onto your Photos app. So if you go to Photos and you open up that video, you'll go ahead and see an edit button on the top right. And so you're gonna wanna click that so you can edit it and this isn't any intense editing. All you're doing on the bottom is you're gonna go ahead and you're going to slide the left and right slides towards the center so that you cut out any of the beginning that was just blank you know, silence or you opening up the slides and getting ready to present. And at the end, get rid of that little last part, which is when you had to click the stop recording so you don't see that at the end of your video either. So you just kind of trim the front and the end and you click done on the top right and it'll save as your video. And so now you'll have a video that you can use to study for whatever it is that you're studying for, or you can share this video with your students so that they can study on their own instead. If you found this video helpful, click like and let me know. Subscribe if you don't miss out on any future content. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time with a new video.